I'll give you a little shot this morning. Little river over on Lake Norman. Just gonna try my new depth finder out for anything. I don't know. Seems to be working, but I put it on myself, so we don't know how that's gonna go. I'm up here on one of the a normal spots, and I'm gonna try a couple of new things, and I gotta go home mow some grass. So stick with us and see what we can do. Well, I'm gonna anchor up here. Show you one more time, kind of how I anchor. I just put it in. Let out about a hundred feet of water rope. I'm gonna hold it till it catches. There it's caught. I'm gonna scrape my boat up. Pull it till it kind of stops here. Got it front end straight into the wind. I'm gonna come back here and get the back anchor. Toss it out. Now I'm gonna let out about 20 foot of rope and tighten it. Got my slack right here. I'll come back up here and pull the slack out. That way it's pulled tight in between them. And then we'll cut up some bait. As you can see I'm just pulling it slowly until it tightens up. So what I've got is pulled tight. In between two anchors. So we should set pretty good right here. So we're gonna use some frozen bait to start out here. A little frozen perch. Chunk it up. This is a perch head. Since it's frozen, it's pretty stiff. I'm gonna go right through the eyeballs. Carolina rig, rattle, slip, sinker slide with a three ounce sinker. Same palm set, just a big gizzard shed here. I'm gonna go right through the eyeball, up through the top of the head. Just a perch chunk. What I'm gonna do is just go right through the top of it, top of his back. Make sure there ain't no scales. Got a pull down here. Let's see if we can catch it. Looks like a pretty good fish. Oh yeah, 
is pretty decent blue down here got him on a perch head you can see on a Santee rig green float pink rattle let's land this thing Fish. He's right in the corner of the mouth, the old Gamagatsu 8 alt octopus circle hook. There he is. He's pretty decent little blue, skinny. Long but skinny. Let's put him back right here. Thank you, old bud. Hold on just a second, if you don't mind. I'm actually fishing. I got one big and just hooked up. <laughs> yeah, all right, let me do that. All right, bye. Hey, I just got a monster slam right here. I switched over, started pulling. I've been pulling for about 15 minutes. I don't know, not that long, probably five minutes. This fun. Hey, I just got a monster slam right here. I switched over, started pulling. I've been pulling for about 15 minutes. I don't know, not that long, probably five minutes. This thing, I wish I had it on camera. He was digging that. He was digging that planter board. Now he's coming to the boat. I think he's got a little bit of shoulders on him. Some may be in the camera, but I don't think it is. They've got pretty good fish here. Ah, oh, you might have me fooled. Now he's starting to roll a little bit. Out right here. See if I can get you over this way a little bit. I think he's a pretty decent fish. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. He's probably going to push him lead him down in there. Yeah, he's a good one. He ain't hooked very well. So let me see if I can get him in the net. Almost wore out, don't have much red left on it. Homemade planer board. Let's get him up here. There he is. There he is. A good fish. Now, I probably overestimated. I'm going to say he's 17. If he let go of my thumb, I'm going to put him back right here. Alright, let go of my thumb, buddy. Alright. Thank you, old buddy. Thank you, Punch. Are you all for lunch? 
Are they alright? Guess what? I just hooked a big old fish. Hey, hey Jeff, I got one full of drag. Here we go. Full and drag. Hope this stays buttoned up. Checking this camera. I think I got the pull down. It's up on top. And it's digging. I've been trying to conduct business, which I ain't very good at. Bless her heart, my wife does everything for me. She's trying to educate me, but I'm not the smartest person in the world. If it don't come to catching something or killing something, I don't know much about it. This booger finally come to the boat here. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, get it, boy. What's you doing there? Ah. Oh, you wrapped yourself up. He's a pretty one. You can tell. At one time, he's been shallow because he's dark, dark color. I'm not going to be able to lift that. Let me get the net here. Seems like my depth finder's working fine. And actually my wife helped me install it. And my brother-in-law. So maybe I got something right. Come on in here, little baby. We got him. in the boat. Probably a little wind noise. He's pretty it's dark. You don't want to get dark like that. They've been up shallow. Got a little, had a little sunshine on. Have no idea what kind of bait it was on. Pretty sure it was on a perch body. But it's another Diachi. I think it's a D84, D85 hook. Red circle hook. It done the job. Another CNT rig. There we go. That's a good one. Pretty fish. Oh. Want to ride in the driver's side. Try to get the driver's side seat. That's worth a blue spin. Let's put her back. Ooh, thank you, old girl. Let's get out and get another. Well, folks, old river hobo getting out of here. Just getting traffic. About got run over by one pontoon already. And, uh, man, I had two of the hardest pull downs I ever had on them. I mean, they just smoked the boards, drags, screaming, and popped loose. That's the way it goes. Same rod. Maybe the hook was bad. I checked it and the, the tip was just a little, it wasn't quite as sharp as you should have had it, so I changed the hook. Probably should have done that more often. So there's a good tip. Always check your hooks. Check that tip. Make sure it's sharp. So man, that was two good fish. Unless it was a great big gar, who knows. But man, they were smoking that rod. So, River Hobo. Catch you on another one.